What up? It's your boy DJ PK, and today I thought we could do an unboxing video. Uh, my buddy Alvin over at Gaudi's Retro Room, check out that channel. It's a fun uh, gaming channel, just like this one. <clears throat> he sent me a special something. He told me specifically not to use a knife to open the box. So, I. Uh, I'll listen to your advice. I won't use any knives, okay? <clears throat> uh, I also got a couple of fun uh, something in the mail as well. Uh, but this is something I ordered. But why not open them together? Check this out. I love the Earthbound or Maza series. And uh, my wife got me this really cool Dose San bag. I think it was for my birthday, perhaps. but uh, Or Mr. Saturn, if you're one of the English-speaking fans. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and open the mailbag and find out what's inside. Alright. This one is from Alvin. Well, I guess this this is convenient. I can just pull this tab here. I was a little worried I was going to emasculate myself in, in front of all you gentle people out there. Well, I just I just might it tore off. <clears throat> also, by the way, if you uh, have been watching my YOLO videos, uh, my buddy Alvin unfortunately challenged me to ghouls and goblins I believe I believe the English name is yeah gosh I'm that's gonna be probably the shortest YOLO video Alvin's pretty good at it actually that game is super 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 hard if you don't know what I'm talking about the uh, YOLO uh, series that I've made is if you die once it's a game over it's the end of the video so I want to see how far I can make it in one life. You only live once. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's inside. Okay, what, what is this? Come on. Let's see. Okay, this is super cool. <laughs> Alvin, where did you get this? Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> The title of this book is The Way of the Christian Samurai, Reflections for Servant Warriors of Christ by Paul Nowak. If you don't know, I am a devout Christian. I love Jesus with all my heart. He's my Lord and Savior, and this is really cool, and I look forward to reading it. Also, samurais are super cool, so that is awesome where the crap did you find this <laughs> dude I'm definitely checking this out this is awesome and I'll have to do a review on the channel after I'm finished that's pretty cool awesome and then oh we got some games in here nightly nicely bundled together thank you Alvin oh dude sick okay so uh, I had mentioned to Alvin that I was wanting to get a copy um, of, I believe it was Morrowind, I think. I was looking for Morrowind, or was it Oblivion? I can't remember, but I asked Alvin to get me um, some, th some from America, because they're not too easily accessible in Japan. Xbox didn't really do very well, but uh, yeah, you can get them here, but... I also did not want to really play in Japanese because there's a lot of text in those games. So, oh, dude, check this out. It's the original Xbox version of Morrowind. Nice. It's got the booklet and everything. Nice. Very nice. Oh, very good. The disc is in good shape as well. Pretty surprising considering America likes to treat their games like garbage. Hey, I'm guilty as well, but, I mean, now I try to keep them really nice. 
<clears throat> Next, we've got the 360 version of Oblivion. Thank you for doing a playthrough of that on your channel, by the way, Alvin. Uh, if you want to see his playthrough, uh, go ahead and check out his channel. He did an Oblivion play playthrough. I plan on doing one as well. We've got the Oblivion game. And disc 2. Game of the Year edition. I can only assume that Disc 2 is the uh, expansion pack for Oblivion. I don't remember. Ooh, this one's even better than the other one, but I mean, I guess that's to be expected. This is for the 360. Excellent. Thank you so much, Alvin. Uh, I will definitely play through, and uh, I will definitely play better than you. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you so much. I have been itching to get a hold of these. All right, and here's the next package. I've got a problem. I completely forgot what this is. <laughs> I've ordered a couple of things, and so I don't remember what this one is, but let's find out. I'm waiting on something from China, and that is going to be a huge game changer. It's going to make me really happy. That is if it works, and if I ever get it within the next two years. They've had some huge shipping issues in China lately. I think I know what it is. Okay, no, I'm going to surprise you. <clears throat> But I'm not going to surprise myself. Yes, I was right. Okay. <clears throat> so, it, as uh, something that I was wanting to do with the Yellow series, it is Rockman 1. It's the original Mega Man. It's, it's in decent shape. It's definitely changed color due to age, which is is sad because my collection, every other <laughs> every other Rockman game I have is in like unbelievably pristine shape. Like the the sticker's not damaged. There's no writing on it. There's no discoloration. The plastic looks brand new. I mean, it they are beautiful. So. I wanted to hurry up and get one so that I could play them in succession because I, I have two, three, four, five, and six, but I, I must have, uh, you know, in all my wisdom, somehow missed getting one. And so I went ahead and ordered this one. It still looks really nice. I think maybe if I uh, clean up the plastic a bit, it will look a lot nicer. I don't know, it looks like some, maybe they there was a smoker or something, but um, <clears throat> there's also, you know, that white sticker on the back of these games. Uh, this one looks pretty haggard, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's, what can you expect when the games are over 30 years old, but <clears throat> it still looks really, really nice comparatively to what you could get. I think a good clean will shine it up nice, but I do I do want to get a pristine one to add to my perfect collection. Maybe I'll give this to someone else. I don't know. Maybe you, Alvin. I don't know. But yes, I've got the Rockman. I've got the full series for the Famicom, which I'm very excited to jump into. But of course, I've got to test this to see if it works. Probably will doesn't have too much play inside it's got that average sound so you know sometimes you can get them and it's like the board is super loose but yeah well that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the unboxing video um if you would like something similar to this, uh, more unboxing videos or perhaps if you'd like me to go through my collection in a series of videos um, I could do that. That could be fun. Uh, but uh, 
If you like what I do, give me a like, share, subscribe. Uh, give me some challenges. As I said, Alvin just challenged me to uh, Ghouls and Goblins, I believe it's called. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And that's all for today. And as always, we've got love, peace, and Afro Grease. And I am out. Thank <music> you.